guys. So here are your ligaments for this week. So starting up here, in between your both of your clavicles, we have the interclavicular ligament right here, okay? In between both clavicles. Right here, going from your sternum to your clavicle is called the anterior sternoclavicular ligament. So they're all in the name. You have the first name, sterno, and then clavicular right here, okay? We also have a posterior one. You can't really see it, but it goes from the sternum to the clavicle on the posterior side, okay? So we have both of those right there. And the fourth one we have right here is a costoclavicular ligament. It goes from the rib to the clavicle. Costoclavicular ligament. Okay, now we're going to be doing these ligaments right here. Up here on the top, this pink, it is called the acromial clavicular ligament. Acromial clavicular ligament. It goes from the acromion process to the clavicle. Okay, acromial clavicular ligament. Now, right here, this blue and this darker blue, those together are both called coracoclavicular ligament. They go from the coracoid process to the clavicle. There are two ligaments there. So we have the conoid ligament here in dark blue. And this light blue is the trapezoid ligament. These ligaments right here of the shoulder, we're starting with these three. We have a superior glenohumeral ligament, a middle glenohumeral ligament, and an inferior glenohumeral ligament. We have three glenohumeral ligaments. And then we also have a coracohumeral ligament. This gold is the coracohumeral ligament. We have the coracoacromial ligament. It goes from the coracoid process to the acromion process. Coracoacromial ligament. Right here, we have the transverse humoral ligament. Right there. We have a suprascapular ligament, which is back here. Suprascapular ligament. Then we go here to the back, right here attaching from the glenoid fossa up to the spine of the scapula, it is called spinoglenoid ligament. Okay, so this concludes all the ligaments for week two.